Hey everybody, Captain Beanard here with your BHDL3 Week 9 recap and regular season summary. But first, a couple of quick announcements. So, first and foremost, I would like to say this is actually going to be my last weekly recap and preview video for this season. Um, unlike other seasons where I decided to extend these into the playoffs, this season I decided to go ahead and end them with the end of the regular season. So, um, regardless of how far I make it into playoffs, this will be the last last one. Um, doing that this time around, mainly because I am uh, just starting to feel the draft league fatigue slash scarlet and violet fatigue a little bit here, so it just kind of made sense to me. Um, additionally, I will say when it comes to this video, it's probably going to be much more brief and concise than my other uh, weekly videos here uh, this season. Um, for the same reason, um, I didn't really prepare a ton of graphics or anything this time around. Um, but additionally, the other reason was that um, coming up a little bit later this week, I am actually going to be part of a panel uh, discussion on another YouTube channel that's going to be doing a complete uh, playoff preview here for the BHDL3. Um, if you guys are interested in watching that, you can catch that over on the official Battle Hub Draft League YouTube channel. And uh, as I said, that video is probably going to be coming out within a few days of this video. So. Um, basically, this video is just going to be a brief uh, discussion about my Week 9 game here, and then a brief summary of the regular season here in the BHDL 3. So, um, having said all of that, I want to go ahead and talk a little bit about my Week 9 game. And that, of course, was against the Brawling Conkelders, coached by Lionel, an individual who we've played once before here on the channel. Now, going into this game, I was sitting at a 6-2 and two record, already mathematically locked into playoffs, as I had stated for the past several weeks to you guys, uh, whereas my opponent came in at a 2-6 and six record, already mathematically eliminated from playoff contention. So... Um, not a lot of stakes on the game for that reason. However, there were a couple of important um, stakes in this game for me. Um, one of which was actually um, I wanted to win because it would improve my positioning in the playoffs. Um, so obviously the better record you have, the higher seed you're going to be, and um, the better matchup you'll get hypothetically um, in the quarterfinals, the first round of the playoffs. Um, but probably more importantly than that, I really needed this win um, as far as morale goes, because as you guys will probably remember, um, we haven't been doing too well in the last couple of weeks here. Um, we did take back-to-back -back losses in the prior two weeks, so uh, really needed a win to just kind of get back on track uh, this week. And so fortunately, we did end up winning this game 2-0. Uh, it was a really solid match, though. Um, very close, very competitive. Uh, fast-paced, high-octane game. If you haven't watched it yet, I would highly recommend uh, checking it out after watching this video. Um, but yeah, just an, an all-around good one, I would say. And uh, very happy to get the win in this one because, as I had stated, um, just trying to um, get back on track and get the momentum back here. Um, as I said, we did start the season off 6-0 undefeated, um, then ended up faltering a couple of weeks. But i um, very happy to get the win this week to kind of hopefully get back on track. Um, with this victory, the Philadelphia Pidgeys advance to a 7-2 and record and end the regular season at that. So very happy about that, very proud of that. Um, that is actually, I believe, the best I've ever done in a draft league regular season, and it is actually on the heels of the worst that I've ever done in a draft league regular season um, last season, where we ended... Um, two and five, technically two and six, I guess, after our final week forfeit. Um, and that landed us in the worst position. So, um, obviously a far cry from that this season, we got the, uh, fabled, uh, redemption arc as, uh, everyone calls it. And, uh, we're able to turn it around in a huge, huge way, but, um, the work is just beginning as you guys will know, because we are going to be heading into playoffs next week. So, um, but before we do that, just a brief look at the final standings here in the regular season of the BHDL3. So here we can see, of course, all 16 teams that participated in the BHDL3. Um, 
and their records and differentials positions, of course. As you can see, uh, my team, the Philadelphia Pidgeys, uh, landed in the number three seed overall, a 7-2 and two record with a plus 16 differential. So as I said, best we've ever done in the regular season of a draft league. Um, I feel incredibly proud and incredibly fortunate to be able to have achieved that this season. Um, technically, we are in a four-way tie with three other coaches that share the, share the same record as us, as I should say. Um, however, uh, two of those three coaches have uh, better differentials than we do. So, of course, that is going to land us in the number three seed overall. Um, then you can see uh, the rest of the coaches uh, that made the playoffs there. You can see two coaches with uh, six and three records, and then uh, the last two coaches will have five and four records. As um, <coughs> of course, there was one coach uh, with the five and four record that uh, did not make it due to differential. And then we see um, just kind of the rest of the field filter down from there. So, um, so yeah, that is your BHDL three uh, final standings post um, post the regular season. So. Um, we have an interesting situation on our hands here because, of course, the top eight teams are going to be advancing into the playoffs again um, in that playoff preview video that's going to be coming out um, a little bit later this week on the Battle Hub Draft League YouTube channel. Um, we'll go into full detail of that. Um, but essentially, our four playoff matches uh, here we already know, and uh, they are actually all going to be regular season rematches, ironically enough. Um, so, of course, you guys know how it works in the uh, playoffs. Number one seed is going to play number eight. Um, number two plays number seven. Number three plays number six. And, of course, number four plays number five. So that leaves us with, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, the four matches for our playoffs here as the um, Leaf Agents and Scorpion take on the uh, California Trailblazers and Pokemaster 88. Um, the Piercing Ponyards and the Best Not Really will be taking on uh, Team Aquamarine and Anastasia. Of course, yours truly, the Philadelphia Pidgeys, Captain Beanard, will be taking on the ABCDEFG slash Atacama Tyranitars and Beeridu. And then finally, we have the Mamos Wine Doubters and Raymond taking on the Demolition Force and Emerald Miner. So an absolutely stacked uh, playoffs card here. Um, a lot of uh, great teams, a lot of great coaches uh, in the playoffs this season, as per the usual. But um, the competition just appears to be getting stiffer and stiffer with each passing season here in the Battle Hub Draft League. So... Um, I'm really looking forward to finding out what happens in these playoffs. I'm looking forward to doing the full playoff preview video with uh, my fellow commissioners over uh, once again on the Battle Hub Draft League official YouTube channel um, a little bit later in the week. So um, please stay tuned for that, everyone. And um, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. So um, thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed it. Please hit that like button, leave a comment and or subscribe if you did enjoy and stay tuned for more new videos in the future and stay tuned for um, the Philadelphia Pidgeys in the quarterfinals of the BHDL3 taking on um, the ABCDEFG Atacama Tyranitars. So um, that's it. And we'll see you next time.